it's very nice to meet you. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank um, you. The movie is phenomenal. It's epic. The scale is, is just huge. How did you find the tone? Because obviously it's, it's such a personal story to the family. Uh -huh. and it's a true story, but also it's a film. So finding that balance must have been quite difficult. Well, I try all, all the time to be very close to the people who was there uh, and to follow, to lead them to lead the way. I sometimes felt only the messenger of all the things I was getting from them and put that on the screen. Uh, the truth is that it's very, it's very, it's the way the emotion, for example, works in the film, it's very extreme. There's a scene where you can see Ewan crying and he collapses. He's been kind of numb for hours and suddenly when he needs to change and think for the first time uh, that maybe his wife and his son are dead. I mean, he suddenly collapses. So you realize that the emotion goes from zero to a hundred in a second. Mm -hmm. There's no gray, there's no gray spaces in the middle. And in order to portray the emotional journey that the characters go through all the story, you realize that the emotion is very extreme and it works to work like that. Um, the actors have to go through quite a lot of turmoil because obviously the story is so difficult. Um, did you try and keep the atmosphere on set quite fun and or, or did they have to constantly get in character to try and keep that, that sense of you know, realism from the film? Well, we, we tried to have a great atmosphere in the set because it was a very long shooting. And also, uh, we had to portray the story of the family, and I, I wanted to create a, a family in, in, in the set. So, so we did a lot of rehearsals with the actors, with you and Naomi, Tom, and the kids. They spent a lot of time just playing around and, 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 and do things to create the space between the characters. And also in the set, I, I, for example, one of the things I used to do a lot is to I, I, I shoot using music. So there is a moment where the music affects not only the actors but the whole crew and you create the mood of the scene. So, so it was great because sometimes we were shooting a very emotional moment and you could see the actors very into the scene and then all the crew surrounding me also in the same mood than the actors and it was great. Yeah, great. that's really clever. Um, what was the biggest challenge for you? I'm guessing the water scene must have been pretty difficult. Yeah, but the, I mean, the, the, the technical challenge uh, was exciting. I mean, I, I love to work with visual effects. I really enjoy that. So I never, I never saw that as a difficulty. I mean, the difficulties for me was to be at the level of the responsibility of the story that these people, the real family, told me and, and be at the level of that responsibility. And also for me at the beginning, it was kind of like I was scared of the fact of shooting a movie in English with English-speaking actors and, and the fact of getting into the specifics of the story to talk about life and death in uh, using my English. I, I was kind of scared at the beginning. But the truth is that from the very first rehearsal we start to work with the actors, I start to work with them. Uh, and it was very clear that the, the connection was great, that we had a great, great, great uh, commitment and a great trust in, in each other. Mm. And you actually shot where the tsunami hit in Thailand. Yeah. What was it like going back there for you and for the, the locals to have this, this big, you know, Hollywood movie coming in to, to, take, to try and recreate the, the pain that they obviously went through? Well, the Thai people, they, they, they're wonderful. I mean, the way they behave all the time, it was extraordinary. And they love the fact of uh, the film being made because it was a way of showing uh, the world what happened there. You need to think that sometimes watching the news you're kind of numb, you're not affected about it. And one of the great things about filmmaking is that you can create an empathy. So you can put the audience into the story, into the tsunami and make them really understand what was to be there. So that was my goal. I mean, from the very beginning, I wanted to make the audience go through all the emotional journey these characters went through and created this kind of thought-provoking experience and provoke them a, a thought of what was to be there. I mean, there's not a message in the film because these people, they don't have a message. They didn't have a message when they left Thailand. But definitely they were transformed. And I wanted, using emotion, I want them, I want the audience to transform them and provoke a thought about not just the, the, the film itself, but the, their life. Mm. Um, why did you decide to shoot in English in the end? Why, why was it not Spanish like the, the family? 
Well, I mean, the, the first draft, it was clear that all the time they were going to be using English because uh, even though it was written in Spanish, uh, most of the dialogue was in English because these people had to talk in English uh, to make them understand to the other ones. So it was uh, kind of natural to use uh, English-speaking actors. Mm -hmm. And also, we, one of the things that we, from the very beginning, we decided is not to tell where they were coming from. It was because for us, this family had to be kind of like a universal idea. I mean, they, they, they're kind of like a white canvas where everybody could project themselves. I, I, I remember I, I, I showed the film to a friend of mine, and he told me that he lived uh, the film, the experience, through the point of view of the father, the son, and the brother. That was my intention, to make the audience to participate, to be into the film from the point of view of this family. Well, it's one of the most powerful films I've ever seen, and I cried through most of it. So um, thank you. I can't wait for everyone else to see it. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.